original system was to uh, power the left hand side of the rear wheel uh, with a BMX left handed freewheel um, and the chain was pulled by this wire from the neck of the seat uh, which went th through the pulley there and then to the handlebars. So when the handlebars were pushed forward this wire was pulled and the front and the rear wheel was powered. Now to have power on the re return stroke as well, I duplicated this wire with this pole, pivoted on the same place um, at the front of the seat. And the sole purpose of this pole, which runs all the way up here, is to support another wire at its front end here. And this wire runs underneath and then through the pulley that is part of the containment of the pole, down here to an idler pulley, it's just free on the axis of the handlebars and does a full turn around that and then comes down here to another chain to a special 12 tooth free wheel on the front wheel uh, that matches a 16 tooth um, on the bigger rear wheel this is a special uh, free wheel which is uh, threads here and then the actual ratchet and teeth are on a neck down piece to get just down to 12 teeth. Then the chain becomes the shock cord which um, connects to the other chain. So there's a closed system by these two pulleys that are on the top of the gooseneck. So it's a closed system with the chain um, just circulating over the two free wheels. So now to do the pull stroke um, you can see the wire, be able to see the wire uh, pulling over this bronze pulley and then the front wheel, look down at the front wheel should be turning. The uh, controlling of it uh, is done by, a bit, mainly done by this lever here, which is a brake to stop the front wheel, but when you push it in the opposite direction, it uh, unlocks the handlebars. Uh, and allows them to rotate but at any stage if you go to brake then uh, the handlebars are locked again by this pin in here going into one of these holes so that gives you immediate normal control of the bike